Hey guys, Claudia here with another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about makeup and what I think are essentials in a makeup bag or a makeup kit, especially if you're starting off with makeup, whether you're a girl or you're a boy that's planning on transitioning from male to female. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I use is the MAC Prep and Prime all over my face just so that the makeup has somewhere to sit and so that it um, helps prevent breakouts for me like it kind of creates a barrier between your face and the actual makeup so I'll use the MAC Prep and Prime for that and then I'll go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'll put that all over my lid in order to get a smooth surface so that I can or so that it helps my eyebrow or not my eyebrow my eyelid from creasing so I'll put that all over my eyelid and sometimes even below so I'll take it from my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone and then even a little bit below my um, actual eye um, just so that I cover all the surface areas that um, what's it called that shadow will go on or any type of makeup that I'm gonna use around my eye is gonna go on and that's gonna help prevent creasing and stuff like that the other product I use is the eyeshadow base by NYX Cosmetics and that is in white and it looks like this it looks like that and what that helps me with is making my eyeshadow pop more and be more I guess the word I'm looking for vibrant there we go at which point once I'm done with all the I guess prep work as far as primer and eye primer goes I'll go in with the pro longwear concealer by Mac and this is an NC 45 it looks like this and I just use like half a pump to cover all the areas I need covered on my face. Um, <clears throat> after that, I'll go in with my Mineralize Max Skin Finish Natural in medium dark. Looks like this, and that's my actual the actual fan foundation that I use. So I'll put that all over my face. Um, I did forget to mention though that the concealer. I will also apply concealer over my eye just so that I have like an even canvas all over my face for my that includes also my eyes so I'll put concealer under my eye and like on my actual what's it called eyelid um, <clears throat> after that I go in with shadow um, the shadow palette that I actually use today and so that you can see the actual shadow palette that I used today was the Coastal Scents 88 palette, 88 color palette, and I used this color, the third from the bottom, um, this orange, the third from the top, and then this brown, the fourth from the top. I don't know if you can see it. So, fourth from the top, the third from the top and the third from the bottom and that's what I use today for my eyes after that I usually go in with my blush I use the 10 blush palette by Coastal Scents it looks like this and it has a multitude of colors so it served what I needed it to serve um, right now I think on Coastal Scents it's $11 so if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up I highly recommend it. It's highly pigmented. I really, really like it. So there's that. Um, but you don't have to buy that. You can buy just like an individual blush palette, or not blush palette, but blush at your local drugstore or what have you. Um, the eyeliner that I'm using is Maybelline New York Master Precise by Eye Studio. And that looks like, ooh, like this. And it gives me a really precise um, eyeliner, or it helps me line my eyes really precisely, and gives me 
helps me achieve the cat eye look that I like when I do use it. Um, the other thing is the Lash Blast 24 Hour by CoverGirl. It's like this. Ooh. It's like this. This isn't the one I'm using right now. I'm using Colossal Lash by CoverGirl, the cat one, the cat eye one. So that's what I'm using right now. And then for lip gloss, I, or lipstick or lip product or what have you, I'm actually using the Urban Decay Pocket Rocket in Max. And that's what I'm using right now. Another product I would recommend is the Baby Lips in, let's see if, it, if I can find it, in Peach Kiss, and this is by, I believe, Maybelline, yes, it's by Maybelline. And if you don't want like a sticky lip that you get with lip glosses, this is more of like a chapstick kind of feel to it, but it does have a little bit of color so that it or a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of color so it's not just like plain like most chapsticks are after that I think that's pretty much it for any beginner I don't want to overwhelm anybody that's starting off in makeup by saying like oh you should get this and you should get that and you should get this so those are pretty much the basics as far as eyes, lips, and cheeks and face yeah that's pretty much the basics with that the other thing I would recommend is brushes, but you can usually buy brush sets at Target or Walmart or Walgreens and they have like a set that has everything you pretty much need. Um, if you want to know what brushes I use or if you want to see another video specifically about brushes, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can do that in the future or if I'll try to film it maybe sometime this week or something like that. Another thing that I want to advise people on is if you're gonna get into makeup make sure that you do have a proper skin routine like a way to take off the makeup I use the Walgreens makeup wipes and I also use the Neutrogena eye oil-free eye makeup remover so and then I do have like a cleanser that I use which is I think the Cetaphil cleanser no yeah it is the Cetaphil cleanser so those are all things you want to consider when you are applying makeup. You don't want makeup to stay on your face all night just because it's gonna, it, it might provoke your skin into breaking out, promote, provoke. Your skin might break out. So it's better to just take it off, clean your face properly, and go to bed with a clean face. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I really had. I'm trying out this new format, so just a little information for you guys, I'm trying out a new format. I'm going to see about doing the first week of the month is going to be all about transgender issues, um, whether it's my personal issues or issues I found like in the media or whatever, just general transgender issues. The next week in the month is going to be miscellaneous, which is this week, so this week falls under a miscellaneous. I might be off a little bit. But once I get back on track, it's gonna. This is how it's gonna be until further notice, or until I decide to change the format again. But it's gonna be miscellaneous, which would be like a makeup tutorial, makeup information, a random tutorial. I guess just random stuff. Um, frequently asked questions, stuff like that. The next video is gonna be things that I don't like in the month, or something that pissed me off, or something within the month. So that, that's the next video, and then the final video is going to be what I like in the current month. Um, well, the third one won't be necessarily what I hate in the month, just like pet peeves in general. And then, like I said, the final one's going to be about things I like in the month. So that is pretty much it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share if you dare. and. I guess that's it like if you have any questions or any comments or any concerns or you want to say anything to me just leave them in the comments below um, and that's it so see you guys later bye